Hey guys, this is Josh Builds and today I have an awesome project for you. I'm going to be showing you how to build these powerful boombox speakers. Now we are going to be building these from scratch and because of this, this is going to be a super cheap project. It's also relatively simple and it has amazing audio quality. No word of lie, my brother actually thought these were my Bose speakers when he heard the sound from them. Now let's get started on the build. Now to start off, I designed and printed these circuit boards at PCBWay.com. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Josh, I don't know how to design my own PCB. Well today you are in luck, because in the description of my video I have all the schematics for you. All you need to do is go print them up at PCBWay.com. Now we're going to need a few of these electronic parts. I assure you all of them are very cheap and easy to acquire, and I'll leave links in the description below. Now once you have all that, we can start installing them into the PCB we designed. Essentially what this circuit that we're designing is meant to do is it's going to amplify a signal coming out of your phone or computer or whatever it is and then it's going to make that signal very loud and that's going to come out of the speakers. So we're going to solder all these parts into our PCB and once that's done we're already 70% of the way done. Next we have to attach our battery clip and our potentiometer, aka variable resistor. And the variable resistor will basically be a volume control for these speakers. We're also going to need an audio port so we can use an aux cable on these speakers. Now all that's left is to attach two speakers to the output of our circuit. And now the first step is complete. We can attach a 9 volt battery to this and attach an aux cord and test it out to play some music. Now we're going to cut out a cardboard frame for our speakers. Next we're going to need a long piece of cardboard that can wrap all the way around the face of our speaker. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut some small slits into it and these slits just need to be deep enough so that they pierce the top layer but not the bottom layer. And then we'll be able to fold this all the way around our speaker. Now all that's left is to make some holes and mount everything in place. Now that the project is done, I'm going to compare the sound from these speakers to my phone speakers to see the difference in quality and volume.
Thanks for watching to the end of the video. You can find all the resources you need in the description, such as a parts list where you can get them, the design of the PCB I made, and where you can print up that PCB. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more content like this. Thanks for watching.